difference between organic food and inorganic food. And it got my adrenaline running because I know for a fact this, that this was a big fat lie. So my purpose is to inform you about organic food and I will let you make that decision yourself. First, uh, why organic food has become increasingly popular, how organic food is grown, and some of the health benefits. Um, one of the reasons why organic food has become increasingly popular is because there's been a change in the way that um, food is grown. For example, the Monsanto, Monsanto company uses scientists to genetically engineer food um, so that, according to them, there will be more production of crops at cheaper costs. The way in which they genetically engineer these foods is that they inject genes into the crops. Um, they can inject um, insects, uh, not insects, genes of insects, because um, they can insert anything from um, that is convenient to them. The American Academy of Environmental Medicine um, says that they have inserted bacteria and viruses that can that have never been been in the food supply before. Furthermore, this can cause uh, accelerated aging, immune problems, infertility, allergens, toxins, new diseases, and nutritional problems. And according to them also, surprisingly enough, 50 to 70 percent of the food we eat are GMO. Uh, they also said that these genes can also cause mutations. Overall, we can't imagine the degree of harmful effects it can cause on us, our world, and the threatening extinction of natural crops. That is why scientists like Gary Newell, who is a nutritional expert uh, and uh, in health sciences, and other scientists have rebelled against this kind of farming and have worked hard on alerting <coughs> and letting people know what is going on by means of non-profit radio talk shows and internet sites. And through this, more and more people have become knowledgeable about what's going on. And second, organic food, on the other hand, is grown the old-fashioned way. That means, and I will tell you what that means. First, uh, hills was the founder of the UK-based Organic Garden Association, says that the, organic, that, or, that the organic approach recognizes the marvelous complexity of our living world, the detailed and intricate ways in which all living organisms are interconnected. It aims to work within this delicate framework in harmony with nature. In organic uh, farming, fertilizers are used, but they are natural fertilizers. Instead of chemical fertilizers, they use insects and natural predators to control some of the other insects uh, from eating the vegetables. And insects and microorganisms, which are invisible to the naked eye, are used to make food for these plants that break down manure and organic materials for the plants to absorb as nutrients. It, uh, it is also stated by Hill that a single teaspoon of fertile soil can contain more bacteria and fungi than the number of humans living on the planet. As you can see, nature can be very powerful as well as uh, chemicals can but without the harmful effects. Uh, these microorganisms improve the soil and also produce healthier and more resistant plants against disease and pests and also have a better chance of recovery if, if they are damaged. With this said, organic farming is very complex because farmers have to make the perfect 
conditions between microorganisms, predators, insects, pests, uh, and the soil. Lastly, uh, I will tell you about the benefits of, of organic food. We have learned that organic methods allow plants to absorb more nutrients and make them stronger. And as consumers of these plants, we are benefited from those nutrients because we eat it. Uh, an interview I made from an organic farmer named Brian said that his zucchinis grew up to two feet long and about 12 inches wide. Also, uh, Dr. Fallon from Nourishing Tradition said that organically produced food is richer and in nutrient content, and according to uh, Healing with Foods, tests show that organic foods have 90% more minerals than inorganic food or, or commercial foods. Organic food also has shown to give a longer lifespan. Because uh, in a book by Ro Ronald Smith called Traditional Foods Are Your Best Medicine, has uh, you scholars such as Alexander Leaf who is a teacher at Harvard University, uh, to do research on the long-lived people of Vilcamba, in which they reported people to live to 150 years old. These people lived in the mountains with hardly any contact with the outside world or, or their food. The, um, these people were mostly farmers, herders, and hunters. According to this book, it reports that investigators of this place agree that the physical vigor in extreme old age, rather than the age itself, is what most impresses vis visitors. Dr. Davis says that these people did not get cancer, heart disease, diabetes, blood pressure, or other diseases afflicting people in modern cultures. But these diseases were very common in cities just 50 miles away from them. And that's my poster I have. Um, a lot of people um, might think that organic food is for crazy people because it's very controversial. Because uh, they've been said that roaches has been in um, injections or insertions of genes into vegetables or fruits, and 50% uh, to 70 is GMO, and GMO means when these are uh, manipulated in laboratories to change their composition, and the bad thing about organic food is that it is very expensive, you have to be wealthy to be able to buy everything organic. And, but uh, it also uh, eliminates, eliminates a lot of pollution because um, harmful chemicals are not put into the soil and that, that gives pollution to the plants and, and our world. And um, factor myth, factor, um, many new stories manipulate the information for further benefit or for the company's benefit. And um, now that I have informed you um, why organic foods has become how um, why organic food has become increasingly popular, how organic food is grown and its health benefits, maybe next time you watch the news, uh, you will think twice before believing what it says.